stay till the end of the video because there's a surprise waiting for you. Hey guys, this is Sean. I'm the founder, class teacher, and CEO of Creo. And today I'm going to be presenting what it takes to build a product. We'll be covering a bunch of that and then going more into the depth of the costs behind building something. A simple question for us was: Is there a demand for a good wireless mechanical keyboard? Are people willing to pay a premium for such a good product? Very shut up and take my money. And are we capable of building something which is a bit more cheaper than global alternatives as a company which wants to grow fast and wants to deliver good products and wants to keep the best teams possible it's important for us to launch things which can demand scale so in this case we were a little skeptical but i mean we trusted what the users wanted and just went with our gut with this uh, and that's how we decided on a product like swarm we then checked if uh, feasibility which is can we actually launch something which has all the features that we require when speaking about like smaller things that came out from our uh, user studies for this particular keyboard were things like users wanting a thoki sound and within this thoki sound we had to figure out how many exact layers would be need to get that thoki sound if we required a switch film right now or not and at the same time what sort of switches can bring that thoki sound so in this particular keyboard we actually tested around 40 to 50 different switches and we tried one layer two layers three layers i mean there were fights within the team on a week on week basis should we add a silicon pad should we not after all we did go ahead with the silicon pad then came the hot swap ability Now when we were starting this out there was obviously a few things that go into figuring out how comfortable is the hot swapping experience this is a function of the pcb and a few more layers that go up in that process if it's gasket mounted or not and within the pcb there are few hot swap pins so in this case again we had to decide between 3 pin hot swapping 5 pin hot swapping we went ahead with 5 pin start karo obviously it costs a bit more but we couldn't say no and the other more premium part which i want to talk about is just when we had to decide what type of keycaps to go for so we had a choice to go between abs or pbt uh, these are two different types of plastic grading both of them give a different experience in terms of texture and feel pbt which we used in swarm is a lot more premium and as you can tell the plastic quality on its own is a lot more smoother and it has better sound absorption qualities as well our landed cost for something like this would be anywhere between uh, 3400 to 3800 rupees different materials such as plastic chipsets it's really dependent on what the demand is in the market there are times when if fuel costs are really high or there are chip wars going on this could be even above 4000 the selling price of the product which is 5799 the government takes taxes from us which is another 18% which means the net price for us comes around to 4914 if i just talk about this net price let's calculate from there like for 4914 uh the cost of the product plus the duties plus qc plus freight this amounts to almost around 67% of this net price so as you can see we have around 33% margin left uh, to play around with Now what happens to this 33%? Well, we have warehousing costs which is give or take 4 to 6%. Then we have last mile which is making sure that it goes to the warehouse and gets supplied from there which another depending on the carrier would be another 4 to 5%. so this drops down a margin a bit more and at this point we are already down to a 21 22% level after this is the final nail to the coffin which is channel partner commissions so when selling on amazon uh, we do end up depleting around 20% more as you can see obviously we don't have that kind of scale right now to bring down our costs a lot but net net we barely make money on the product At the moment, it's fine because we're just a startup and we're really pushing hard to get our volumes up, uh, and we should get to a much higher profitability with this particular product. 
as we have with our other products already. But this is a conscious call that we've taken to ensure that we can develop the best product at a good price point. That's a very quick breakdown of what goes on behind the scenes to launch a product and a very brief idea of what it costs. Uh, if you have any questions, happy to answer them in the comments. And we wish to do more breakdowns like this from finance to marketing, to R&D, everything else. We would be breaking down a lot of these and what it takes to actually build a hardware company out of India. Also, since you've stayed till the end, I'm ready to get the margin down a bit more. For the first 50 people that comment, I'm swarmed, will get a special discount code under your name.